Hot biscuits. What about them? They're nice and good because they're hot. Who got the best biscuits? Popeyes. Cap. Who got the best biscuits? Um, Actually, Red Lobster. Know. Wait, what? That's a great one. That's a great answer. What did you say, Kel? Red Lobster. I haven't eaten Ooh, Red Lobster. That is a good one. That's a great I answer. I haven't had those in years, though. I haven't eaten Red Lobster. Popeye's biscuits is good, but it ain't die. the best. It ain't the best. <laughs> Golden the best Corral, biscuits? they got biscuits. Huh? Golden Corral. Golden Corral? Man, ain't nobody eating no damn Golden no. Corral. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't that shit was good when I've you were a kid I'm saying, and you didn't know are no they better. Still open? Yeah, I, don't I think even so. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. There's definitely. There's definitely, there's definitely I ain't gonna lie. Somebody say let's go to Golden Corral. I might have to go ahead to block you on real. I, th- I thought they were closed. I didn't even know they were still open. Nah, there's, there's one. There's, there's one on Jeffrey. <laughs> there's a cool yeah, there's, I know the one you're talking about. Did that one's still open. KFC I kind of slipped up, but uh, <laughs> huh? KFC biscuits. Huh? KFC biscuits. KFC biscuits is not top tier. No, hell it's no. Not better than Popeyes. That's not yeah. I'm about to say it's not even better than Popeyes. But welcome back, podcast people. We are the Down Bad Podcast. Back with episode fifty seven. Yes, sir. Yes. Episode fifty seven. So look, we got some news. Y'all gotta listen close. The first breaking news. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Come on, man. Y'all already know how we coming, man. So. We do got some updated news, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of y'all, y'all been wondering where we're at. We sorry that we missed the last podcast, but it was just the audio. The audio kind of effed up, and it was just all bad. So we just, we we kind of canceled it, and then we just was like, all right, F it. Let's just get back to it. Um, and we got a whole new schedule, but right before we do the schedule, let's start off with a roll call. Galapagos. Baxter. Alpha. I'm Lou. Malachi. Yo, chill guy. We got chill guy in the back. He does have a camera, but we don't have it for today. Today's going to be a shorter episode just because we're kind of transitioning and everything. And plus, last week, I'm sure y'all seen Thursday at 6 p.m., we uploaded, uh, uploaded the Friendsgiving or the Thanksgiving special. And this is now coming, at, uh, coming out on Monday at 4 p.m. I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? If you didn't watch the Thanksgiving video, go back and watch it. We put it all in the video while we made the schedule change. But I'll just go ahead and uh, reiterate why we did. Basically, it's so guests can show up on Thursdays and Fridays instead of having to go on you know Mondays because we know Mondays is a very awkward day. So we just basically want to transition it for a better day with the scheduling and everything like that. So that's pretty much why we did it. Now, um, obviously, we have some other news. If you've been seeing a member has been missing, and I'm not talking about uh, Nick. So, um, Kelvin, you can go ahead and explain. So as you guys can see, Aaliyah's not here because of my current living situation. She wasn't able to stay with me long term. So she is pretty much going through, like, the adoption process at this point. So, yeah, that's she's pretty much not going to be here no more until fur- further notice. I sell crazy. Man. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure some of y'all have probably noticed. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's life, man. Not everything can work out. Not everybody can, you know, keep pets in certain situations and everything like that, man. It's just certain shit happens, and, you know, this is one of those things that it was like nobody really could take her, and, you know, we we basically made it do. Shout out to Kelvin, because he made it do for as long as he could, man. If you would have seen behind the scenes, bro, it was a lot going on that y'all just don't know about. He was cooking. Yeah, so, you know, shout out to Kelvin, and uh, shout out to Aaliyah, wherever you are. We still love you, girl. But um yeah. Um now if y'all have not already joined the Discord, uh when you join the Discord, go ahead and assign some self roles and you know, just go ahead get yourself uh, acquainted in the Discord. I've seen a lot of new people joining the Discord. I'm glad of that. I'm glad that y'all joining, y'all learning everybody new that's in the dis- I mean everybody that's been in the Discord cuz I ain't gonna lie, it's really crazy. We really got a whole little family up in there. It's crazy. I, it's really I crazy. Think about it all the time, bro. It's really really crazy how how it's like they started off on Discord. Now it's like I know their first names. They know they, bro. It's 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 crazy, bro. It's really really crazy. So shout out to everybody in the Discord. Now, um, as far as it goes with the live podcast that coming out on Friday, since we are going to start probably filming on Friday, um, we'll have to change it to another date. We'll just see whichever date works out for us. But um, yeah, we we got a lot more in store, man. A lot of us are getting you know gaming PCs, new computers, and everything like that. So we're all basically getting hip, and we're gonna you know be a lot more in tune with each other, you know, so just be patient and, you know, 
Just wait for it. Also, me and Chill God, we do have a channel. If y'all want to go ahead, uh, subscribe to it. It's down in the description. There's no videos up, but we are going to be working on that very, very soon. We just getting the logo together, and um, it's crazy. We getting the logo for that channel. We ain't even got one for this one. <laughs> now we do. Got to bring it out. We do. The logo is finished. Well, we ain't. We ain't. It is finished. We ain't we ain't premiere yet. Yeah, we ain't premiered yet. We just haven't premiered yet, but the logo is we finished. Have one? And it yeah. will be coming yeah. very soon. The red mystical stuff. No, I, I changed no, it though. No, no, because it, it was just funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I changed it though, but I'm gonna put it in the um, what's the name so y'all can look at it? In the, the uh, Google Drive. Say less. Yeah, so we got um, you know, logo and everything. As you see by this, this big old thing, y'all, <laughs> y'all ain't never seen that before. But it is a mixer. We got a transformer. <clears throat> yeah, I'm we saying, got a mixer, man. so our audio hopefully sounds a lot better. Um. Yeah, like I said, we just steady improving, man. We steadily improving. Uh, pretty soon, these walls not finna be so white. You know, we gonna put some stuff in the background. We gonna put, we can probably put some of y'all artwork if y'all wanna send it or anything. You know, just basically, we gonna keep on. Just we gonna become more of a more of a podcast every single week. So you know, the goal is to improve. So y'all just bear with us and you know everything like that. Can you pull up the YouTube comments before we uh, what's it called? But yeah, y'all just y'all just bear with us. And um, like I said. It's gonna be a lot more improvement. It's a lot, a lot more, com huh? Oh, it's gonna be a lot more improvement. So y'all just keep on the lookout and just be patient with us. Be patient with us, cause um, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a long process, but we're working on it. We're hey, working good things on it. take time. Yeah. So uh, starting off with the comments, we're gonna run through these, cause this is gonna be a short little episode. So we're gonna do it probably about ten. Um, Grace Satterwhite, that is a real person. Hey, if you're Grace Satterwhite, did you join the Discord? Somebody in the Discord is named Grace now, too. I've seen that. I think that might be Grace Satterwhite. I don't know. If that's a real person, then, you know, just say that that's you. It might be a quinky dink. Yeah, it might just be a little quinky dink. Um, uh, Grace Satterwhite says, someone really needs to make a compilation of, uh, Afo saying off the wall stuff. Um, Russia said, best, co uh, content to listen to while I'm at work. AOW said, this episode had me dying and y'all funny AF. We appreciate that. Unique Black said, this is one of the funniest episodes yet. We appreciate that. Honey BDD said, Afo's comments kill me every time. W Pod, this episode had me dying for real. Shout out to you, Honey BDD. A1 said, glad to see the old man Lou legend still going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still pumping. Um, <laughs> Hawk the CEO said, man, Chill Guy definitely needs his own camera. You can't be you can't be selfish. Yeah, that was a very, very funny moment. But yeah, he got a, he got a camera coming. We just didn't set it up for today. Um, Zygot Cash said, love the two-hour pause. W is always. Well, sorry. They ain't happening this time. Um, <laughs> Jay Cuffey said, uh, this is the funniest podcast. Y'all need to get chill, do the camera for real with all these wild takes you be having. And y'all need to get a music video for unrelated incidents. That is in the works. In the works. I don't know. It's a little cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is cold. cold. It is cold. It is cold. Low key. We'll see, though. We'll see. Um, it's Rollo said, Waves isn't just a hairstyle. It's a lifestyle. You brush in the shower, eat, do homework, bad method. Yes. Man, I ain't, ain't going to cap. how serious of a lifestyle it is, man. I don't man. think I'm brushing while I'm eating. I ain't going to cap. That no, might no not while you're eating. I'm about to say, brush while you're eating But all crazy. the other things, man. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Um, Jan Jam said, the peaceful uh, the peaceful pedestrian is no, uh, is no longer one of people. <laughs> The peaceful pedestrian is crazy. The peaceful pedestrian is crazy. Peaceful pedestrian. It no longer wants peace. If that's how it's going to be, he needs a camera ASAP. W Pod, the improvements aren't going unnoticed. Hey, we appreciate it that you guys are seeing the improvements. Um, Matthew Hitt said, Kelvin gave Afo the, uh, that ghost look on Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> um, the day just had uh, Afo so passionate about uh, waves. Much love for y'all though. Much love for you too. Um, keep going down. Keep going down. Um, Baxter said, "Oh my God, what a stupid name." Um, what did he say? He said, "Oh, Baxter is so fitted." Oh my God, what thank a you. mid outfit. Thank um, you. Aaliyah Michelle said, "This man Lou looked like the cool young uncle." <laughs> I mean, I am a cool young uncle. I mean, I do have an nephew. Now, hold on, so. hold on. Read that one real quick. We Which need one? a music video for Heartless, and you need to bring out the Hood Chirac gang and put them in the music video. That was Ren, though. What floor you think they on? What you think, Galapagos? Mm, she's probably just going. Uh, they, they are probably just going <laughs> up one floor at a time as they're building up their uh, skyscraper. Okay, so okay, okay. Scraping the sky. Kevin will get it one day. <laughs> uh, scroll down one any of more. These days. <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna do trying. about. We're gonna do about three more. We're gonna do about three more. Um, Majin Drew says Shawty was bottomless and geeked. Um, <laughs> 
Sin says self snitching in the YouTube comments is what? crazy. Yeah, talking about when uh she was in the pool, and the, uh she said she was uh what's it called, the the bottoms fell off. Oh, uh, so man. two more. We got my man's waffle said, "Hey man, I don't even know how to type that Homer Simpson sound bit, but W Pod." L chill opinion uh, takes, <laughs> but hey, I'm glad me and my brother are seven years apart because we are not sharing. I ain't gonna lie, sharing when you seven years apart is crazy. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Um, and then the last comment, you know, my man's Bon Von the goat. The goat. Um, said, uh, homie. Uh, he said, home gold is ass. Uh, Afo don't like punks for real. I don't know why punks is such a funny word, man. <laughs> and then, uh, let me smell your fingers is wild. Then he puts the dope. Yeah. That was a wild comment. That was a wild comment, man. Wild uh, who comment. said that? That was Kelvin, that right? That was Kelvin. And that was awful. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be the YouTube comments. We can't sit up there and read every single one anymore because y'all are commenting a lot more. We wish we could, but we do go through every single comment. We do show love to every single comment. Yeah, we comment, see all of them. Yeah, we see every we single see one of them. So. Um, today, on this podcast, now I was saving this. I was saving this for a little, a little minute. Ooh, what you, what did you and say? Intriguing. I got a very good question for y'all. Intriguing. What's that question? All right. So, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Podcast topics. Here we go. All right. Would you get mad if your significant other was cheating in their dreams, but they are the most loyal person, but they cheat in their dreams constantly? I mean, I can't really control their dreams. I know. What are you supposed to do? I'm like, yeah. Wake your Don't ass up. <laughs> <laughs> you going to wake them up? Hell yeah. <laughs> what about you, Kel? I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> That's just dream. I guess it's right, what if they're on... dreaming and they moaning the other person's name? That's what I was going to say. Like, that's when I wake they up. Moaning? I'll be like, hold on, bro. <laughs> moaning the other person's name in the dream, but they are 100% loyal. 100% loyal. I'll just tap their face real quick. <laughs> <laughs> See if they wake up. You can't really be mad at that. That's though. what I'm saying. You can't, you can't, you can't control it. There's nothing that. you can do to control it, so I mean. I don't know, man. I just clap cheeks back in my dream. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's truthful. Hey, you spit him, bro. <laughs> 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 That's truthful. Nah, clap cheeks back. So you can control your dreams, you're just going to start clapping cheeks? Mm-hmm. Hey. hey, W Dream Controller. W Revenge. Lucid, dri- ah, lucid Dreamer. No you guys character. can't? Huh? You guys can't? Nah, I just let my dreams do their thing. I'm Man. Not gonna lie. So you can like walk around or whatever. I mean, nah, if there's I limitations, that, but. I never told the, the dream. Kelvin, you such a W man, bro. You Damn. such a Woo! W man. Hot biscuits. <clears throat> hey, we've been getting better at that. We have. We have. We have right. not messed up in a I very we, long we time. We haven't missed. We haven't missed in a while. Man, so. Man, my wrist is good now. <laughs> the thing that happened to me, all right, this was the craziest dream I had in a minute. Interesting. This man, Kelvin, saved me from the <laughs> fattest man alive. That's so crazy. <laughs> what? He saved me from the fattest man alive. I, I kid you not. I remember the dream like it was yesterday. So I, uh, I, I go into the dream. I basically spawn into the dream because you know you don't ever wake up in a dream. You just nah. spawn in. You just basically get, get consciousness. <laughs> so I'm in a bathroom, and I'm just sitting there just like, oh, okay, I'm washing my hands. Next thing you know, this big, fat dude just walks in. <laughs> Now, the thing was, he was fat, but he was fast. Like, he was real fast. I don't know why, but he was moving, boy. Oh, he was mobile. So, yes, he was very, very mobile. Because, you know, fat people, sometimes they be walking slow and stuff like that. I think it might have been right after we seen a dude walk out with, like, 10 boxes of pizza. It might have been him. <laughs> it, or it was somebody that looked like him. So, Bro, he walks the to the bathroom. Ass. Next thing you know, he instantly just get on that with me. I'm like, yo, I'm like, What's, what is your problem? I'm like, what is you doing? So, he pushes me. He pushes me. I'm talking about. I fly into the wall. It was like one of them, like I flew into the wall so hard. Okay, like Goku. a couple, like a couple of the tiles fell off. Like it was Damn. like my shoulder hit. A couple of the tiles fell off. So I'm holding my shoulder. I'm like, oh my god. But then I realized I'm like, oh, I must have like some type of superpowers too. I punch him in his stomach. Literally just jiggles like it's Majin Buu. Like <laughs> literally just jiggles and does absolutely nothing. So I'm like, oh nah, I got to get out. So apparently I was in a school. So I'm running down the hallway, and I'm like, I'm calling people out, like, help, help, help. <laughs> the dude is falling right behind me, running and laughing right behind me. So eventually, he gets past these two people. He just basically knocks them shit. They just, he just knocks them silly, like literally knocks them up against the lockers. I go out through the doors. Like, keep in mind, this is a very like quick ass dream because it was like a, it was like a thirty minute nap. So I go out the, I mean, I go out the door. I'm in a football field now. 
keep in mind, I'm sitting up there and I'm like, I'm I'm like literally, it's like a one on one starts. I'm literally punching the dude. I'm like, da -da 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 you know, like in an anime or something like that. So he's just sitting there just laughing, just absolutely bawling. Gumbo, gumbo, no. Yes, bro. <laughs> Not affecting him at all. So I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? So the dude picks up a chainsaw. Oh, shit. He picks up a chainsaw out of absolutely thin air. Where'd he get it from? He, like literally <laughs> out of the ground. He just pulls it up and he just gets a chainsaw. I swear to God. So he gets a chainsaw and he's literally walking right towards me. So I'm like, what the heck can I do? I get to a wall and I swear to God, Kelvin comes out of nowhere and shoulder bunches like he literally does like this. He puts his shoulder down <laughs> and rams into his shoulder and he, drop, he, he drops the chainsaw, leaving his ass wide open for me to touch his head. Because keep in mind, the nigga was fat, but he was tall too. Couldn't baptize fat. him? No. He was finally <laughs> on his knees though. He was finally on his knees, so I, I had a like a clear shot to basically give him like a hair shot, cause like his stomach it, it had no effects on his stomach, but in the head I guess that was his weak point. And I'm like I never punched him in the head before cause he was so tall. Kelvin came through, did like this, gave him a shoulder, and knocks the chainsaw out of his hand, and also basically puts him on the ground. So me taking advantage, I'm like this, I go up and I run, I punch him and I wake up. And I wake up, and that's when I I instantly text the group chat. I'm like, Kelvin, you fucking saved my life. I'm like, I'm so I, confused. Kelvin was so confused. He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, Kelvin, you just saved my fucking life. I was literally about to die from a fucking chainsaw. I was literally about to die from a chainsaw. Yeah, my, my dreams be off the wall, man. My dreams be off the wall. Nah, that's crazy. I had Dougie B. Dougie B, the Transformer. Dougie B, the Transformer. Yeah, man. I could shapeshift in my dream. I wish I could do that. Who's... You don't be having dreams, Malik? I be having dreams. My dreams be like horror dreams, though, man. It should be crazy. I'm not surprised. I, be, I remember one time I had this dream. It was similar to the chainsaw thing. Mm -hmm. It was like darker. You know how we play the Ro Robux games? It'd be yeah. like dark as hell down there. That's who I was running. And it was people around me. And I'm screaming to these niggas like, bro, help. This nigga coming from me. Everybody just looking at me laughing. <laughs> and I trip and fall, bro. And the guy comes up to me with the chainsaw, puts it on a leg, gone. Then I woke up. So and I be he, feeling the pain when so I he, wake yeah. up. He actually cut off your leg in a dream? Cut off my leg in a dream. No I can force myself to wake up during the dream. Facts. Like I can literally, like, if I don't like him, I fuck, I gotta wake up. I force myself, and I force myself to woke up, fucking right here. All kinds of leg pain. I'm like, fuck. So you let Maybe that's why your foot off. hurting. Hey, it could be. <laughs> Low key. Could. Why didn't you wake up before you got your leg cut off? I don't know. I can tell you that. He I was thinking about it. Like. I was thinking about waking up, but He's like this nigga. Sometimes not do though, it. like yeah. I let I let the dream play out a little bit just to see like what's going on. It's weird though, because I like I know I'm in a dream and I and I can stop it whenever I want. But I let it play out just to see what's going on. How do you know when you're in a dream? I just know. I can just tell. You'd be looking at the sky and be like, ah yeah, mm-hmm. That's how it go. It's nah, it's not even like, feel my body. Huh? There's a couple tells. Yeah. Like it's you can look at a clock. A clock is never right. You can look at your hands more than five. Mm -hmm. I, don't I can think just kind of feel it. I mostly dreams, just feel it. I was like, going to wow. say, I'll, clocks will be appearing in my dreams. <laughs> mm. I mostly just be feeling it. I'm about to say, I think yes, it's yeah. because I just be having the most off the wall shit happen to me. Like, so I know, I'm like, I know this shit ain't real. Like, I told you about how I was stuck at the top of a tower and I look right <laughs> and it's a fucking gas station. <laughs> 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 like,. <laughs> Yeah, one time I was in a cafeteria that was also Wendy's. Nah. And I was like, it's out of school. Nah, but like, it was all the same thing at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a different dimension in the type of way. Like, I don't know. Everything makes like, sense. It is like a Everything dimension. in the dream makes sense. But like, if you try to explain mm -hmm. it in real life, it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever had the same dream multiple times? Not like at all. Week? I don't yeah. think I have. Nah, I don't nah. think I have. I, I know. I did know that I knew how to go back into dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I did know. that one time. Yeah, I went I back into the dream. Too. I went back into the dream. So I'm talking like, you got to finish the dream. Yeah. When it's too hell no, I don't want to finish. I woke up on purpose. Have I go ever, right back in that bitch. Well, have y'all ever had the one where you, um, you wake up, but your body still sleep? No. Nope. Of course. Sleep yeah. paralysis. I've sleep had paralysis. Paralysis. I have that before. before. I had I've that before. Had that. I had one where I was in a dream, and I woke up, but I was still in another dream. And then I woke up again. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, what the dream I've had that happen to me before. I've had that. It was crazy. When they put me under, I had that. I was stuck in a loop. I was stuck like in a loop for like forever. It felt like I was Can stuck in an infinity. I'm saying it's crazy. <laughs> Not for real, bro. I was stuck. It was like a loop where you I was think like, you break it. So like, <laughs> like, like, like the loop. It was like a Tachi put a Genjutsu on me for real. So like the loop, I would go with the same thing over and over again. 
I would just shrink down to the size of an atom, and I'll go back and just shrink down to the size of an atom, and I'll go back and just shrink. I just kept shrinking down to the size of an atom. Like, I can see the whole world. It was, like, crazy, bro. I don't even know All what right, was man. going on, bro. I was going like, to say, you're going to the quantum bro, realm. it was so crazy. Like, if you saw, like, the colors I was seeing, like... Oh, this nigga was hot. Bro. I'm saying. He's <laughs> <laughs> on a psychedelic. <laughs> My man's on a trip. those type of dreams before. It's weird. He was on a man. trip. I was going to say, that's hot. Yeah. That's, that's different, bro. You now, the one stuff. I had was like, it, I was on like a horror one again, but I, I didn't like it. So I, I woke myself, at least I thought I woke myself up because I woke up and I was in my room and it was dark. So I was like, all right, fuck. But I couldn't move. And then I know I, I hear a voice whispering over me. Oh, he he hell, said no. something, I don't know what the fuck he said. They said <laughs> something. And I was like, oh shit. And I woke up again. I was like, fuck that. Nah. I stayed up that night. I was like, hell, I don't know. No, I, go I don't think that was a dream. Yeah, <laughs> hey, <laughs> motherfucker was standing over him. Are you down to ride? Are you down? <laughs> I was like, hell no, I ain't going, it was like fucking, I think I mean, it was like four in the morning, I was like, yep, I'm staying up. Some, some dreams really raise my, uh, my like, my, uh, Senses. my uh, heart rate, oh. mm -hmm. really raise your heart rate, like I'll wake up with my heart beating super fast. I'm saying, fast. my like, heart, I'll be like, waking up in pools of sweat when I'm having an intense dream, bro. Yes, bro, the dreams be crazy, and sleep paralysis is a whole nother beast by itself. You ever itself. been chased? I've got dream? shot at before. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, wait, somebody broke into this house, <laughs> right? So, all right, so two people <laughs> broke into this house. And, like, they were trying to get me, so I pushed them out the house. And then, like, while they were running away, one of them was shooting a gun at me. And then I started doing, like, backflips and, like, <laughs> Matrix stuff, type of stuff. And I was dodging the bullets. And then I woke up. But, like, <laughs> yeah. I had so, Abraham yeah. Lincoln come to me in my dream. Bro, what? No, that has to be some type of song. No, he was, like, in my room. But it was after I watched, um, it's some fucking... It was like th this is us or something like that. It was like some scary ass shit like on um on Amazon Prime, or I think it was. It was like a black family that moved into a white neighborhood or something like that and they just happened to move into a house that was like built on the fucking I forgot what the fuck the movie was or the series was, but basically in the series it was like a man, the it was like a tall man with a a, a long hat. Mm -hmm. So like I woke up out of my dream thinking that I was waking up. I was actually in my room. So then his ass just got creeping. He started creeping out of the corner, and he just coming up to me, and it was just a real tall ass nigga with a real black hat. And I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck?" So I I, I moved back on my bed, and then I like kind of I really don't know what the fuck be going on in my dreams. I really like jumped into him and tried to headbutt him. You know what he and wanted? Woke up. <laughs> he wanted you to read your book, read your books, read your studies. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> right. Abraham Lincoln. He wanted you to read your book. Bro, what? Oh, fucking dead. Then he nods his head like we supposed to understand that shit. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> the nigga, all he did was read books. Bro, that nigga's a loser, bro. What'd you say oh about my God, There was so many people that were no sitting holes. up there in the comments. What? When it, we was talking about how he gets no hoes. So many people was like, yo, be quiet. He freed you guys. Like, bro, <laughs> shut your corny, lame ass up. Shut your corny, lame ass up. How the fuck did Abraham Franken... I said Franken. Franken. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did Abraham Lincoln free me? Yeah, he ain't do shit for me. I'm, I'm about to say, he didn't do shit, didn't Jack Squaw, for me. me. He didn't free me at And all. then on top of that, my ancestors, my ancestors, it ain't like he wanted to. So what he the really fuck did. did he do? It was, just a, it was just a product of the Civil War. Damn. Just his ass product. was losing. It was never the intention. Because his ass really slaves. is a loser. Hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't he have slaves? Yeah, yeah, he had slaves. History is so so skewed. History is so fucked, man. History, History is, is definitely it's fucked. It's so fucked. It's definitely fucked. You really get to learn shit every single day about, like, like black individuals. And it gets what, worse. Yes. It, the thing is, it doesn't get better. It gets worse. The more history you learn about being black, it gets significantly fucking worse. It's like, damn. How much did you hide? There are some people that still have never seen Martin Luther King in color. What? I could believe that. I don't know why I'm surprised. Yes. That, like, that's, that is literally a product, a product of history. They put the books in black and white to make it seem like it was such a long time ago. That was not that long ago. But when you think about it, like, I ain't trying to be that guy, but, you know, the 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 what the Caucasian people, not everybody, but the evil ones, they're really smart for that. Because yeah. they really had me thinking growing up that Martin Luther King, that was such a long time ago. 
Yeah. When in all reality, bro, that shit was not long ago at all. No. Though people from that day and age are still, alive, still alive, like normal people. Exactly. There are still niggas who walked with Martin Luther King. Like his kids and stuff. Like, exactly. Just, bro. My thing connected. is, what did th- those kids learn when they was in school? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's history to us what we now. learned about because it didn't happen yet. What y'all think big, what big events do y'all think is going to be history like? Like uh, now, nine eleven is like, like in a, our recent time. Yeah, in our recent time, Trump, uh, the COVID. capital getting raided. Hundred yeah. percent COVID. 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 Yeah, COVID. Monkeypox and Ebola is gonna be in there. Monkeypox is weak nah, as fuck. Nah, that shit is nah, not getting. Nah, nah. Nah. Uh, Monkeypox is low key ass. Uh, <laughs> we're talking, bro. About I went to Florida. I wasn't even fucking scared, bro. We're talking about events, right? Yeah, yeah. like re- our re- recent events in our lives that are gonna be uh, history in like what twenty years. Events and all. Yeah, I can see that. I can, I, can I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Oh, the, um, the protest. Cryptocurrency. Scam, too. Ah. I don't think the scam is going to be in there, but I think crypto is going to be in there. Crypto, crypto itself. Crypto, crypto yes. itself is going to be crypto, in there. Crypto, yes. The scamming, nah. I mean, they might talk, but they might reference it. Nah, that FTX it. is definitely going to be in there. FTX, that's, yeah, that's that FTX FTX might be in there. It might, it might be, yeah. Especially if they if they just falls off and it never comes back nah, ever again. That's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. It's I mean, they are falling off. Like they crazy, they uh they're, they're trying to hide bankruptcy. it. They're trying to hide it already. Yeah, they're doing stuff yeah. to try and hide it. Dang. Dang. Let's see what else. You got the World Cup going on. Yeah, bro. But I don't know. I really do wonder what they talked about in school back in the day, though. I wonder what they talk about today. Do you think they even went to school? Yeah, they went to school. Yeah, they went to school. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Like in the like. The 1800s and shit, how were you really educated? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, they were probably school? just teaching <laughs> about white history, but whiter. A lot of them weren't educated. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about school white school folks though. individually. Like, yeah, yeah white, a lot what, of them still weren't educated. They didn't know how to read and yeah. shit. They know so how to what, read about, write. what about the 1900s? That's when it started getting better because reading and writing was like a luxury to have. Facts. Yeah, that's facts. So... But like 1900s, like what, did, what do you think they even learned about? Just how to survive, honestly. How to work a job. Yeah, you well, remember I think the the, thing, the the curriculum was different. Like they learned more because it was a school. The fact it was more they probably royalty that had education and stuff. Yeah. yeah, they probably learned more like life lessons and yeah, school like, than like yeah. what we do now. Mm-hmm. We learn shit that we never gonna use. But back in the day, everything they taught you was probably what you can use like in real time. Yeah, prep you for the workforce at any moment. Yep. Yeah, prep you for the workforce. 100%. That's really crazy though, that they were learning about all this workforce and everything like that. And it was still some bitch ass nigga who decided that math should have fucking letters in it. <laughs> there was really a time that a nigga said math should have letters in it. What is it? A squared plus B squared equals C squared? Pythagorean theorem. theorem? Yes, bro. Not even just that. Mx, uh, no, find MX find the product y of D. B. And the, the fucking thing is R minus D5 and shit like that. Like, who the fuck invented that? Gotta bro? distribute. <laughs> Whatever you do to one side, got to do the other. Got to keep it even. <laughs> oh man, it's just like, bro, what was the purpose though? Yeah, math. math like gets when you get to deep levels of math, it literally doesn't even make sense anymore. It doesn't make sense. You literally can't. <laughs> uh, you it's, can't just no, no, it's, it's just letters. It's just letters. It's rules. It's rules. Yeah, it's rules. Yeah, it's rules. It's rules. Yeah, it's rules but it's like when rules. you get to like 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 quantum theories and everything like that. It's like, bro. It's like. It's, very, it's like, like quantum you, physics. You, it's yes, all made up. It's like yeah. Well, yeah, hundred. It's, it's, like it's, it's made definitely like, made up. But, like, but it's just bruh. like putting the numbers in a place and seeing what you get out. How's it made up? Y'all still quantum, use, quantum physics. Yeah, quantum, quantum physics, physics is use, completely uh, random. Huh? PEMDAS. 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 The PEMDAS makes sense though. PEMDAS still be beating people's ass till this day. Man, some niggas don't know what PEMDAS is. They be real. Oh, you talking about the what is it called? The order of parentheses. Order of operations. Yeah, order of operations. People, bro, every. Every like couple months, that same like a same problem, <laughs> where you gotta distribute <laughs> and people get it wrong every time, bro. I don't know what it is, bro. <laughs> They're not using PEMDAS. Yeah. Ah. All right, we back. We back in the thing. We back in the thing. We back in the thing. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. I usually be having some type of crazy questions for y'all, but I don't. I don't even be knowing. I mean, I got a few questions. What question do you have? Let's see what I got. You got you want crazy ones or just questions? Just crazy questions. Give me the craziest stuff you got. Okay, I got a crazy one. Hold on, let me see if All I can right. find it. Let me see if I can find it. I feel like crazy questions are the ones that are most interesting. <laughs> Except okay, you, this I don't want to hear none of your questions. It's a long one, <laughs> but 
This person said, mine is long, but I ask everyone this question because it's such a funny topic and a weird question, so bear with me. So the male G-spot is in his ass. <laughs> are, you, are you talking about my question? I'm listening. Let me get the question off. Go, get, I'm about to say, go ahead. If a man and female are straight and are dating eight years strong, and then the man one day asks his girl to buy a strap and fuck him in the ass, <laughs> does that make him gay? No. No. It doesn't technically it doesn't, make him. It, does it does not. It's more of a technical term. It doesn't technically make yeah. you, you know. Because gay means you're attracted to. Males. The same gender. Yeah. Or, so, well, in technicality, gender. no. So if you were a girl for eight years, you get. <laughs> now continue. Finish. Let me see, let me you, see what you're you cooking. Can, you finna let her strap on you in the ass? I never the, said the I was The question wasn't that. applied to us. But it was just, it was just gay or not. Though. Huh? Yeah, the question that's wasn't different. applied to us. I'm just she saying that. if it was gay. Okay, let's say it like this. If it was somebody that you know, and be completely honest, if it was somebody that you know and they said that they were getting paid, because that's potentially what it is, are you going to look at them different? No. No? no. I'm saying, do your thing. That's what you like. You like what you like. I'm saying. No judgment here. I ain't going to lie. I thought if you was to come out and say you was getting paid, I would look at you a little bit different. Why? <laughs> I, I mean, at the end of the day, I would never, I would never sit up there and be like, like, if we were ever fall, like ever fall, not fall out because that would never happen. But if we were ever in an argument, I would never bring it up. But <laughs> I would be like, you know, dang, Afo, you like, you know, you like getting your booty mixed. Yeah. Wait, but would that not be gay though? No, it's not because gay. technically, it's technically not gay. Technically though, it's a deal though that's getting but, your ass. But the definition, <laughs> the definition of gay is being attracted to the same. Gender, but you must be attracted to a penis if you're allowing it to go <laughs> no, in your ass. It's not the same because then it will be with the man if that's yeah. the case. I mean, <laughs> you're, not, you're not attracted to the man, you're not attracted yeah, to you're the not, man, but you're, you're attracted to the, the dildo, which is the penis. No, you're not no, attracted that's just it doesn't like have to be in the shape of, of that. Yeah, that's just, you just like what the pleasure the of, of getting in the booty, booty hole. It doesn't so. have to be the shape of that. It so if it was shaped like a shoe. Y'all be good. It's the same. The same concept applies. It's the pleasure <laughs> rather than the attraction to it's it. It's more of the feeling. Bro, yeah. my shoe. It's more. <laughs> bro, be for real, bro. It's more of the feeling. Real, why you think? It's, why you think it's gay? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, just just thinking about having a, a dildo shaped like a penis go on your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not man. gay, man. It's, it's not. not it's ten, it, it, like literally. Do it's what one you of those like things where do. it's like, yeah. Okay. Crazy question, and I, I do want to answer. What is technically not gay, but it will be viewed as kind of sus. I got the perf. I got the perfect one to start off. I got one. Sucking your own meat. That's not gay. <laughs> but you will get looked. That is lo- that is sus, bro. That is sus, bro. That it is. is pretty suspect. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, but who if knows you can, yourself better? If you can than do yourself, it, go right? ahead. I'm saying you, can, you know can, yourself the best. Sorry. You flexible. You flexible like that. Go for it, man. Low key. As long as if you play, do your do your thing. All right. What what was yours? Hugging. Hugging. Yeah. What? Like another male? Yeah. Bro. No, you be for real, bro. Be for real, bro. Be for real. What? What? You know, you said something that's not gay that could be looked at as gay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, yes, hugging question, unless you're grabbing the cheeks. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But th- that's you don't a hug, hug your homies, bro. I'm about to say. Well, you know he do. Every time shake or whatever. What about? All right. So that's what I'm saying. There's the half that's, that's shake where you do the half hug with your homie. Does I'm that saying. count as hugging? That's a hug. That that's is basically a hug. A hug. That's a hug. So basically, so that's what that is. There's no technicality. Technicality. That is it's a hug. Half hug or not? I'm. I'm. Keep going. I'm trying to get a good. Okay. Mine was. And this this was this ain't my I didn't make this up, but it was Duke. He said if a male is walking around with no drawers on and a big t shirt. <laughs> that is not gay. It's not. But it is suspect, bro. It is. Nah, that's is funny. Is it not? That's funny. Have you guys done that bro, before? Bro, never, no, never, never. I've done it. It's I'm a little awkward. <laughs> bro, that is, that's awkward. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it when I'm alone, it's comfy. It's comfy. It so, will be no, no, comfy. like keep like. Let me let me give you my train of thought, right? Okay. You at your crib, home alone, right? You take <laughs> you're taking a relaxing day, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> 
I was like, so it's a cold day outside. You at the crib. You got nothing to do. You finish all your work. Nobody's home. You buy your, You know you're going to be by yourself for you know right. the whole day. Right. right? I'm going to take my shower, put on, my, put on my, my shirt, put on my, my undies, put on my uh, either my fuzzy socks or my, or my monster boots, put on a movie. That's no draws. Though. He said no draws. Just, oh, I didn't hear no draws. I so didn't now hear no you draws. good. I didn't hear no draws. But even with draws, is low key weird. A big t shirt and draws on, bro. No, that's a little cool. But if you have no draws on, no, no draws, bro. No draws. No, no, think about it. Think I about still, it. I still think, bro. If you walk around with bed. Un- huh? I was just going that's to bed. That's what I'm saying, right? I'm in my bed. Yeah, I go to bed. Like I'm that. in my yeah, bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said walking around, walking around. But if you're walking around with no drawers on and just a t-shirt, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come I on, feel like that's fine. Dang, like, that's you be doing that? If I'm I at don't the, be if, doing that, but... That's what I'm saying. If I'm at the crib by myself and I know I'm at the crib by myself, <laughs> I'm doing whatever I want. I, I think that's, that's valid. Might as well take the shirt off. What the fuck? I'm just walk around butt-ass naked then. I have. Just be butt-ass naked, I have. You home alone, just be butt-ass naked, But you have to mix it up sometimes. That's true. You have to mix it up sometimes. So would you walk around in a tank top with no drawers? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Nah, tank top is great. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I hey, think about that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If you walk around with a tank top, I'm looking at you crazy. <laughs> tank top, tank no top, draws. No draws is crazy. 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 Tank top is. <laughs> tank top, no draws is insane. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Like a wife beater. Yes. Yeah, one like the tight wow. one. That is a crazy name. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Can we also talk about why is it? Why is a tank top, a white tank top, called a wife beater? I wouldn't know the history to that. I, I would know. not know the history of that. We can search that up though. Why is it called a wife beater? What? Where did that come from? Wait, wife. Be- I thought it's they, called what the wife are you beater. Are you saying wife? Wife beater. beater. Yeah, they call it wife. They I thought it was called the white beater. People, wait, wait, wait. One, people one, say one, white one, one beater, but it's literally called a wife beater. Oh, what is it called? A wife, wife beater. beater. W I F E. Damn. Yeah. I thought it was white beater this whole nah, time. No, nah, it's beater. called a wife beater. Yeah, what dumbass? I don't know why it's like that. Look, when you <laughs> type in wife beater, it shows up white tank tops. I really don't know who What's made that. What's the history behind Can you it? zoom in on that? Who Can you zoom regularly in on Regularly or habitually hits <laughs> his wife. Okay, you don't partner. have to read that. Oh, uh, I thought that was going to actually like. Like, why that. is that the definition, though? Why, who called it a wife beater? Many cite Marlon Brand. Brando's portrayal of Stanley Kowalski in the movie A, a Streetcar Named Desire as inspiration for the term. He wears a sleeveless shirt and rages, yells, Don't even not going to say that word, his sister-in-law, and hits his wife, Stella, uh, hits his wife, Stella. And that don't make the, any sense. The Belgian beer, Stella, uh, atrocious that is something Ooh, yeah. called a wife beater, not a t-shirt. <clears throat> Who came up with the wife beater? 1951, Marlo, Marlon, Marlon Brand, Brand played. Okay, so... Yeah, so basically he beat his wife in the movie and they just start calling it a wife beater. What that is what history? Crazy. I guess he beat his wife in the movie wearing a shirt. So he wore a tank top and they just yes, instantly he called had, it a wife beater. He had beater. to have worn the tank top, did what he did in the movie, and like, it just stuck. Yeah. Who would play a movie part like that though? That's crazy. I call it a T. Yo, I mean, you're not actually beating your wife. You're just uh, I call just it a acting. tank top. That's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie, for the longest time I, I was calling it a white beater. That's what I thought it was a white beater. I thought it was a white beater. I didn't know it was a white but I, beater. I, I, once, once people actually, like, they was like, no, the term is wife beater. I'm like, bro, who yeah, made that? That's crazy. Why is it even still a term? I'm saying, you think they would have, like, been phased out. You know, a Although lot of people don't, a lot of people don't use the term anymore. Equally humble, uh, it's equally humble as his fashion statement. The undershirt tank, also known as a 80. I've never heard that. Oh? An 80. A shirt. 80, oh, guinea T. An A shirt. Or simply a beater is a sleeveless ribbed fitted top perfect for wearing under tops. Yeah, I don't know why it's called that. That's a hmm. that's a crazy name. That's crazy. Five dapper celebs wearing wife beaters. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously people would just could call it a tank top, but I mean that's but that's the term itself. Yeah, like, the why? term itself is absolutely insane. Is absolutely insane. I don't know. That that's one of those things. <laughs> You just Bruh. Gotta... <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> Bruh. Oh, that's this? one of those things you just gotta uh, charge it to the game. 
What the fuck flap. is that smell? What the fuck is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's got to go down as one of the top five funniest memes, bro. They need some context on uh, why we use it, though. Oh, man. If y'all would have seen yesterday, man, we went in Thanksgiving. First off, the, the whole entire trip to Walmart that y'all going to see like in the Thanksgiving, it's a little behind the scenes for y'all. That was one of the funniest trips that we didn't had in a minute, bro. That I wasn't was there. So I had funny. to work. So Malik was at work. So it was just me, Kelvin, uh, Brian, and Afo. So we pull up to the Walmart, right? As soon as we get into Walmart, instantly, it's just packed as a mug. So we like, okay, let's get the stuff in and out. Boom. We basically grab everything, and we start heading to the checkout line. And Kelvin's waiting in the checkout line because we, me and Afo, we went to go grab some, and uh, Brian wants to go grab some too. So basically, Kelvin's waiting in line basically to check out. Now, there's a white dude that's in front of us. And once we get over there, now keep in mind, the camera's still on us. Y'all could probably, uh, we'll probably include the footage, so you'll probably be able to hear us. But Kelv, uh, no, Afo puts the camera on me, and my face instantly turns into disgust. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo. I'm yeah, like, me and you are talking. I, I don't have the mic. You have the mic. I'm like, bro, you smell what I'm smelling right now? Literally. And I, I swear, <laughs> it, it, it was like this. So. Kelvin's in this line. It's a dude right in front of him. And me and Afo are in the other line. But we are smelling this man. So instantly, out loud. Now, I didn't mean to say it as, as, as ghetto as I did. But I literally was like, what the fuck is that smell? And literally, I was like, I literally said that. And I don't know if the dude heard me or not. Because he kind of definitely looked, heard everything he definitely we were saying. He definitely, he, heard left, he definitely looked left. But it's not my fault. His stinking ass smell like that, bro. You shouldn't be coming in there smelling like that, bro. Yeah, it was like, his fault. Literally. Smell like some badussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it was him or the dude that got stuck trying to cut us in line. Nah, it was definitely him. It was definitely him. It was definitely him. Because the smell, it, it, it most definitely amplified when we stood next to Kelvin. So it most definitely, bro, I'm like, what the fuck is that smell? So Afo's smelling it, and I'm just sitting there. Afo's trying to talk to me. I'm just sitting there like, like, ugh, like, what the fuck? Is, I'm, bro, it was to the point, I'm looking around. I'm like, did somebody leave a banana out somewhere, some milk or something? I'm like, what the hell is that? So Brian comes back. And me and Brian and Afo sitting right there, and even Brian is like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "He's like, yo." So I see Brian, and Brian start poking up his lick, his lip, <laughs> trying to basically cover his nose. And then we was like, "Okay." So the line gets shorter. We go back to Kelvin's side. So then the dude in front of us, he goes up. So then we're literally standing. He was standing there for probably about a good five minutes. We have to move up right to his stench spot. So. <laughs> It's like a whole just lingering just of, of just stench just standing right there. Walked in a so stink cloud. We, we walk up, <laughs> and then we instantly walk back because we like, what the fuck? So we letting him check out. Now, keep in mind, it was two checkout lines, and it was an angry-ass nigga that was behind us. So he goes behind us, and he basically cuts in front of us. And I look at Kelvin. Kelvin looks at me. I'm like, I'm like... Now, we could say something, but it's Thanksgiving weekend. You know, we was like, you know what? We just going to be smooth. I wasn't there at that point. Yeah, Brian wasn't there. But we was like, we just going to be smooth. We going to let him, you know, just be cool. So he goes in front of us. The dude, now the dude, that the stinky ass dude, where he got this TV from, (laughs) Lord knows. But the man brought a whole 42-inch TV to the (laughs) checkout line and pulled it out of his back pocket, I swear. (laughs) I did just like this. I'm talking, so so keep in mind, the self-checkout is this way. (laughs) Afo is basically behind you guys. So I'm talking towards Afo this way. I turn around. There's no TV. I turn back this way. I turn around again. I see this man with a whole TV like this. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, what and the fuck? Where'd the TV come yes. from? Even Afo that was looking in that direction the whole time said, where the fuck did that TV come from? Self-checkout, <laughs> mind you. Self-checkout. I've never seen somebody take a TV to self-checkout. You do it in an electronics section. Bro had like yeah, a 40-inch crazy. TV just appear out of nowhere. Appear out of absolutely nowhere. We just see a big-ass orange box. So then he basically finishes up. Now, this is where the part gets funny. So we start checking out. We check out all our things. We're, we're, you know, we're going fast. You know, Kelvin, you know, he was using his, his past cashier experience. You know what I'm saying? Going like a speed demon. So we check out. We eventually get done. Now, we pass by the nigga 
who basically was like, who, who cut in front of us because he was waiting in line because the person in front of him, their machine broke down, which is the one he was trying to go to. So we passed by and Kelvin looks right at him and Ke- the man looks right at Kelvin. And <laughs> out of all the things he said, the man turned around and said, damn. <laughs> I started smiling. <laughs> Bro had to unpack all his shit. Oh my god, the man had to take everything off the cart, and I mean everything off the belt, put it inside the cart, back up literally two feet, and then start putting it on, uh, putting it on again. We was like, karma's a bitch, man. Karma's a bitch. Hey, that was nobody. instant karma for his ass. But man, <clears throat> that was one of those things. Oh, I was laughing so hard, man. I was <laughs> when I tell you we we walked out the store literally in tears, bro. We walked out the store literally in tears. And it didn't make no better when we found the fucking Tyrese meme. I mean, the, not Tyrese, the Tay Diggs meme where he was like, "What the fuck is that smell? What the fuck is that smell?" <laughs> Yo, the shit was just a funny ass oh, night. Man. We were sitting there crying the whole entire night. Loki, we had the camera on, man. If we had the camera on, we was Yeah, all- but pedestrian a uh, peaceful wasn't doing his job. I was, <laughs> I was recording as much as I could. Man. I was recording as much. As, you could, you could. I'm pretty sure you can see the dudes in the uh, in the background. Them walking past in the video. So yeah, we didn't get the what the fuck was that smell though. I don't think you saw him, but nah, you can see the dude that no, got no, stuck no, at the machine. We, we, nah. You can see him on the camera. Oh <laughs> my stuck god, at the, on the machine. Bro, the shit smelled so bad. Oh, it's not man. even funny, bro. It's it's this shit smelled like so bad. All the stores we went to smell bad. Man. It was, man, I, I don't know what it is, but, yo, do white people not get cold or something? We seen so many people. It was 20 Bro, degrees outside. It's the winter time. This is where they're like, it's cold outside. We ain't got to take showers. We Gucci. Nah, that's crazy. That that's is insane. Crazy. We knew a guy that always wore shorts. Did yeah, not matter. Did. Yep. Did Two not feet matter. of snow, three feet of snow. I'm not cold. He's in the shorts. Oh. I knew a guy like that, too. <laughs> Seen him wear jeans twice in my life. <laughs> <laughs> if he was wearing jeans, it had to be a good day. <laughs> Yo, my mans was literally walking in there with a short sleeve shirt on and some shorts. I'm Jolly. Like ass cold. The mans was bouncing. Bro, it was 90 he degrees was for him. He was bouncing while he was walking. Jolly as a motherfucker, bro. I was like, <laughs> ain't no way that ain't Santa Claus, man. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like, hell no. Nah. That nigga was in uh, the North Pole the whole time. This nah, shit ain't nothing good. to him. He was feeling good. I'm saying. That's and probably his element. Shorty was walking in, gray slip, gray sweatpants, no shirt. Nah, I'm yeah, just like, crazy. bro, do white people not get cold? No shirt. Like, no shirt. it was barely, it was like, n- not no shirt. It was like no sleeves on a shirt. It was just like, mm. I was just like, man, listen. Yeah, her arms Y'all got it. Dog. Just literally all out in the open. I'm like, bro, you gonna get you gonna catch a cold, bro. Don't you gonna get pneumonia. Yeah, I mean they like that. I was about to say this it's probably different for them. Man, I'll just be like, bro. That's so crazy. Me, I was wearing seven layers that day. Man. I was just cold as a motherfucker, It was cold bro. as a motherfucker, man. It's that wind that will kill you, man. I'm saying, when it's windy and it's cold out. It's piercing. It really is. Man. That wind chill dropped like 10 more degrees. It and does. And the sun go down so fast. Yeah. It's like dark at like four. Bro, I hate that so much. I do not like that. I do not like that at all, I think bro. we got like a couple more weeks until then it starts to like get normal again, but... You said a couple, couple of weeks, weeks like nigga, we ain't we got, got like months. three months. It'd be in November. No, I'm saying like till it's like dark at like four. Because it, it sure is. is. Huh? I'll be looking out the window at work. I'm like, I feel like I'm here all day. Because I don't yeah. think we've had our darkest day yet. Like there's a day it'll just like, be solstice. dark at like three o'clock. That's a solstice. Yeah, we haven't hit that day yet. So we got a couple more weeks till we hit that. Then it starts nigga, that's getting better. That's uh, what, the 21st of December? That's like what, three, four weeks? Yeah, a couple, yeah. Golly. <clears throat> One day before my birthday. Gonna be like dark. Here's the three o'clock. Gonna be thirty. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do for your thirty first? Remember what? What are you doing for your birthday? What you doing for your birthday? I don't know. I don't know. You gonna play bingo? What day is my birthday? Let's play bingo. Get some. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know what day clubs. it is. Let's get some Casamigos and go crazy. Hey, bro, y'all ass some fucking pussies. Bro. We going you to know, the strip club. You, you know y'all ass ain't drinking. Oh, I said it. Oh yeah, you see. know me. I ain't drinking Sorry. nothing. See, I I give it to you. But I'll be like, you, you so fucking wishy washy. <laughs> Nigga said he'll do shrooms. Nigga said he'll do edibles and everything, but he won't take a glass of wine. I said I'll do shrooms. I don't do I don't smoke or I don't drink. I just said you'll do an edible. That ain't smoking or drinking. That was just one. I don't think I'll ever take an edible again. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you Stop would. the fucking cat. How y'all gonna tell me? You gotta take a real edible. 
I'm about to say, yeah, if we all eat, you, you know you're going to join in and get some too. Hell yeah. You haven't taken a real one. I get a real one. Niggas ain't here to do Y'all trying to tell me. I really just don't understand it though. A real one A real one would question if you even. Y'all trying to tell me, man. Human. I know who I am. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't do none of that. I'm cool. But you'll take an edible. You was high and you enjoyed it. But I'll take a shroom though. Tying up. That's a psychedelic. So that's so crazy. The nigga said he'll take a psychedelic but won't drink a glass of wine. Do you know how crazy that sounds? Yeah, that sounds insane. I mean, it's alcohol. So at that point, you'll pop a Molly. If at this point you, nah, you never Molly's drink different. alcohol, you might as well not even try it. Yeah, I know. You see what I'm saying? Well, no it's a glass of wine, bro. I mean, it's wine, wine. Is, can be good. A lot for of you. drinker I'm about game. Say, wine can be good for you, and on top of that, the <laughs> shit is just—it's literally just a taste. It's not even like I'm asking you to take a shot. It'd be like a glass of wine. I'd be like, bro, it's a little ass glass. I'm not a drinker. It's like how some people just don't eat pork. You just don't do it. No, nah, that's totally different. You can get fucking swine flu. It's the same thing. You can get alcohol poisoning. Not it's not the same thing. Not from a fucking and it's sip still, of wine. It's, it's still alcohol. It's not good for your body, so. Wine is. Red wine is good for your heart. I'm still not drinking it. But you'll do a shroom. That's insane. Yeah, it's a psychedelic. You ain't going on a fucking trip. I'm saying. Yeah, it's a psychedelic. I do a trip. Ass, never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do a trip. Thank you. Alcohol isn't for everybody. Huh? Alcohol isn't for everybody. No, I, I'm just saying. Nah, I, was just I mean, saying, everything no. isn't for everybody. I know. I'm just saying that, it, that hearing the comparisons, it sounds crazy. That's like, like How you if I give you wine. some, if I give you an offer, if I give you this much of wine and a whole shroom, he'll eat the shroom before he even take a little gulp. That just sounds crazy to it's me. It's mind boggling. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see alcohol as being that special either. So, no, I, no, I it's never not. said it was special. I never said it was special. It's not. It is. But not I'm just saying, in that, in that scenario, I think I would most definitely just drink the little bit of wine. Once I seen how college works for real, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool off that. Oh no, college yeah, be going be crazy. Weird. College drinking is different. Them sticky floors. Yeah, alcohol got too many s- s- negative side effects. Of course. I feel like. That too, don't on everything do, though. though. It's addictive. You can get addicted to it. I mean, you can get addicted you can get to anything. anything. I know, yeah, but alcohol addiction is really bad. Don't like, everything you can die from uh, cold turkey alcohol. You if can you're, die, you can die, die, die yeah, from you would turkey. die. I yeah, that. some it's people really like bad. literally. Some people can literally die from it. I, it makes Alcoholism sense. is very serious. What does that mean? So when you just stop doing it at all, you know, every day, blah blah blah, for like I don't know, two years, and then one day I decide to like, you know, I'm going to stop. Your body could shut down because of that. Shock. Damn. Yeah, it's a shock. Yeah. Because your body is be- very uh, bad. Your body you becomes too like 10 years to do that. Huh? Don't you got to be doing that for a nah, long, long time? It's people nah, that are addicted I mean, to drinking. It is, it's for it, alcoholism. It depends. Yeah. It really depends on person. You know what's crazy, though? What I really find funny is how some people don't think that you can get addicted to weed. You can definitely get addicted to weed. I've never been addicted. Yeah, you can get addicted to anything. That was the point where I was smoking. You Every think you, do you think day. you can get addicted to weed? You can get addicted to anything. It's the you dopamine can, effect that, that gets yeah. you addicted. To quit anything is all about how st- mentally strong you are. I think that's what it comes down to. How I'm much be mentally strong, strong somebody man. is. No, I don't. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga just steady giving himself compliments. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. It was um, a point like every day I was smoking. No, nah, that was the point like, where I was, man, we I was really doing had every to day. Save this nigga, bro. This nigga was hanging with the wrong fucking. I was crowd. hanging with the wrong. They made me smoke cigarettes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I hang with the wrong crowd. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. <laughs> they we made, made me smoke they cigarettes. We literally had to come Man. grab this nigga and be like, yo, stop fucking like, with them niggas, bro. The nigga I was with, bro, because he, he had to hook up at this one, um, I forget what the place called. For but cigarettes? you know where it is. He got the menthol. Yeah. Literally yeah. like walk away. <laughs> it's like walking distance. Newport. Uh, um, it's a bad Newport. influence uh, timeline. Yeah, but he had the hookup. We can go to the dude. He just literally, um, he had sell them to us. Um, cigarettes? Yep. We were, we, were, we were, how old was we? Like 15, 16? Mm, hell no. We were still in middle school. What? Damn. 13, 14, 15? Yes, we was like 12, yeah. 13. Somewhere around now. And he would just sell them to us. He ain't get no fuck. And he would, we were literally, it, not me, I, I, I probably did like maybe like one or two, but them niggas was smoking like two packs a day, bro. In middle school? Middle school. <laughs> two what? packs a day. Bro. They would buy like four, niggas would buy a carton. <laughs> they would buy a carton, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you back back where are they getting school, this bro? money from? If you did anything huh? in middle school, bro, you wasn't look from? like as a guy, like, oh shit, this um, kid is in the streets. Now, their parents, uh, they parents as well. 
their parents was well off, so they just give them allowance and shit. They just use the back card. Ah. They, don't, they don't see their kids coming back smelling like. I didn't get no fuck. The depressed forty year old. We just do it at their house. <laughs> yeah, them parents don't they, give a fuck. The parents they, they get no fuck. We be in um my, um old buddy garage smoking yeah. a cigarette, backyard smoking a cigarette. As long as they, you bring something, then we had do good. weed next, and back nasty. to the cigarettes. It's like pfft, crazy, bro. That it was a, it was a crazy time. It was a crazy time. What are those people doing now? Huh? What are those people doing now? Probably shit. They probably vaping. Nah, they used they used to vape too. Now they still smoke weed. Oh, Brody, though, I ain't finna hold. He made a homemade bong. That shit was insane. Homemade? Out of a water bottle, bro. Oh. That shit was insane. Man. Yeah, we had to come. This was back when he was in seventh grade and he was new to the school. Eighth grade, we seen that shit. We said, get your black ass over here. You don't do no <laughs> shit like that. Seventh grade, like, we don't do no shit like that. Bro? Yeah, yeah, we we saw his ass. We saw his ass smoking cigarettes, bro. We was like, bro, get your black ass over here. You don't do shit like that, bro. Nah, that's he crazy, like, bro. With the with the weed is with the weed. We too young, but it's more so acceptable. But we was like, yo ass smoking cigs, bro. The cigarettes is crazy. We was like, get your ass over I was here. Like, you know, I like yellow teeth shit, by I'm high done. school. I said, middle, I'm done. Bro. No more. Woo. Nah, that's nasty. Done. That's nasty. I used to smoke with them every day, and I was like, you know what? I'm done. Woo. Every day? So I smoke, not every day, but probably every other day. Damn, that's crazy. It's I wasn't so like them niggas though, because they was hitting like two packs a day, bro. It's so two crazy packs? how your influence is packs on a crack. Packs. Yes, packs. Packs. Seventh grade. Two packs a day. What could you possibly be doing in middle school that makes you have to smoke two packs of cigarettes? <laughs> hey man, that homework was different back then. <laughs> you didn't even get to algebra yet. <laughs> 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 Nigga failed his ISATs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but yeah, man, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. <clears throat> That's dumb. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the hell. I was just like, man, it was so many. When I tell you, it was so many bad influences I had in my life, bro. You know how many people, you know how many people wanted the pleasure of seeing me high. I swear to God, I never, ever would have had to pay for weed, man. I ain't going to hold. I was trying to get this nigga high all the time. Bro, <laughs> bro <laughs> it was so many people that wanted to see me smoke and wanted to see me high. It was literally ridiculous. They the were demons. like, bro. Yes, and I was like, bro. I'm like, bro. Y'all, what is your purpose? I'm like, why do you want to see me high so bad? I mean, you already a funny ass nigga, so shit. It might be even funnier. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I'm like, that's your excuse? He was like, come on, bro. Just hit this mug. Just hit this bitch. Just hit this bitch. Bro, it was one time they was hot boxing in my car. And I promise you, I didn't I didn't even smoke at all. Like, literally, they was hot. No, it wasn't my no, car. It was, my my car. Bad. It was, it was his car. car. Uh, what's it called? We was in his car. It was hot boxing and everything, bro. I was just like, I just don't see the fucking pleasure of it. I got the fuck out the car. I was like, it's hot. I was hot as fuck. It was like 100 like, degrees and everything. Bro, it, it was literally <laughs> summertime cooking. and they were hot boxing. It was like 80 degrees oh, yeah, out, tripping. fucking hot boxing, no, like a 100 degree car. Tripping. It was in that bitch tripping. cooking, bro. <laughs> and we was in that for like, how long? Because we was in that for like an hour. And you left for Dang. like, he left like what, 30 minutes in? But we was cooking. Yeah, like I said, sorry that this pod is going to be very, very short, but. I mean, we gonna make it do what it do, baby. Do y'all know where that's from? Nope. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. Nope. nope. Okay, never mind. Nope. Golly, y'all niggas don't listen to old school music. Um, so I actually something new I want to try. So we're gonna be doing reading Twitter comments. Intriguing. Yeah, reading Twitter comments. So um, this portion is how did y'all find out y'all was getting cheated on? Okay, so the dude says, I don't know who this is. I can't even read his name. I can't. I'm not saying his name. He says, my girlfriend cheated on me with a married man. I plotted with his wife to catch our cheating partners in the act, and we did. After, I asked his wife if her and I could date since we both been through so much pain. She said no and had a threesome with them instead. That's so Ain't funny. no <laughs> way. That's so fake. It's that cannot be, be real. Be. It's gotta if be. If that's real, that's insane. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. That cannot be real, bro. All right. Another guy says, while while I was home, while I was busy taking care of the kids at home, she would always come home late from work and go straight to the shower. I hired a detective, confirmed she was cheating. Three years later, I'm still with her pretending like it didn't happen, even though it did. That's his fault. That's yeah, he said gone. three years later? He said three years later, I'm still with her and pretending like it didn't picture? happen. I'm gone. Like you that's your fault, Brody. Is that a beta male simp? I don't think he's serious, bro. I don't know. I don't know. 
So a girl says, just had our baby and moved from uh, Florida to Chicago. And the girl who'd been stalking me my whole pregnancy unknowingly came to me as a woman and told me that they slept together a few times during my pregnancy. And even the day I gave birth to our son. Wow. 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 You had to get it in. Hmm? Wow. He was getting it in while she was pushing Somebody it Somebody said... I seen her Tinder account when I made mine. <laughs> both of them. Both of them. Still, hey, it is what it is. Y'all both cheating. Um confirmed it when I was at a stop like a stop confirmed it when I was at a stop. Wait. Confirmed it when I was stopped at a red light. Our son see, sleep in the back seat and none other than my now ex pulls up next to me. She's in the passenger seat. And it's another nigga driving our car. Oh, hell no. Oh, nah. Their car? Hell no. Hey. Yeah. At least make hey. the nigga a passenger. So who, who was in the passenger? She was, and it was another dude driving their car. So it was a guy getting cheated on? No, the dude was getting cheated on. His girl was in the passenger seat, and she was letting another nigga drive his car. That's so crazy. What y'all doing if y'all see that? Said we done. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know because a little part of me might, you know, I, I if my son went in the car, maybe I swerved to the left a little bit. But <laughs> wow. you know, wow. Um, <laughs> like, oops, I probably accident? just I probably just take a couple pictures and just you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna be one of them niggas. I'll be like, you know, he gonna be like, I'm gonna hop the horn. Of him. He gonna mm-hmm. cry in the car later. Just get I your proof. I would file for a divorce and you win. You win everything. So I'll go. Yeah. Good. good, good, good. Good, good thinking. He thinking long term. Good thinking. Um, I'll be done. Another dude says, she brought her dude to my job, and I had to valet the car. He told me, don't wait up for her, and tossed me his keys. It's cool, because <laughs> I, I, on my break, I went to the pet shop and bought live crickets. Nigga, what? I don't even know. Put the live crickets in his People car. just be talking to themselves in the reply sometimes. I, I, be, I think that's a lie, though. I don't believe that one. Okay, it says walked in on uh walked in her house to get my hoodie in her room. Door was cracked and boom, she was sucking another dude off. Damn. Catching it in the act is man. Catching oh, it was in she going the crazy? Act is crazy. No. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst what? enemy. Hell what do you say? No. What'd I say? What do you say? What'd I say? Say it again. What'd I say? <laughs> you know what you said. <laughs> it was nothing important, bro. What'd you say? I didn't say anything important. Brian, stop holding back with info. Bro, I, just, I don't Get even remember what I said. Bro. You heard what he said? No, but he probably said something like, I, I joined her or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I, but I, I said, uh, what's she going crazy? That's what I asked. Oh, what's she going crazy? <laughs> We're going to move on. Um, Okay. This dude says, damn, it's a lot of fucking dudes. And I swear I'm not skipping over the women. Let's find a girl. Let's find a girl. Um, damn, it's a lot of... F- damn, it's a lot of dudes in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, my heart. You good, bro? He says, I found dry nut on the T-shirt that I gave her. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, that'll do it. Dang. So he blasted on her face, but it dripped down to the shirt. <laughs> Bro, what? what? Where'd you even come to that conclusion? I mean, how is she gonna get dry nut on on a t shirt? Just do it on the t shirt. What do you mean? It dripped down to her from her face to the t shirt. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'm just saying she was wearing it. <laughs> okay, this dude says, "Oh my god, both times same way. Both fell asleep with phones open, had buddy saved as best friend or some ish, and both of them were talking about how they missed that dick. Oh, both of them were talking about how they missed that dick." Your boy was hurt. Wow. Yeah, that's tough. Um, <laughs> you got to do better. <laughs> you do got to do better. Gotta yeah. We're going to do like strokes. five more. Uh, a dude says... He needs better strokes. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> a dude says, we was arguing and at one point she got mad and she said, it's crazy you hate so-and-so uh, so much because guess what I did? Then wow. I blocked her and spent about two hours crying in the bathtub. Man, but if you sometimes don't you just got to get it out, man. You better tighten up. Hey, I don't, I don't mind crying, man. Sometimes you just got to get it out because it's better to cry in private than cry in public. True. Big so, character. Then, of course, here comes this alpha male. He says, crying over a female is crazy. Not going to lie. Bro, shut up. I'm saying. 
Shut your charge to the game ass up. Probably um, ain't getting no holes. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So I'm trying to find fight. a woman, bro. It's a lot of dudes in here. Damn, it's a lot of dudes the that be getting cheated getting on. Up on this one. They be dope, okay. Um, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Somebody says there was a Google Doc. Well, it was a woman. She says there was a Google Doc that kept updating. They kept getting updated every day, like a hundred times a day, on his work laptop. Same document for months. He claimed was part of a work project. They was Google Doc sexting each other and posting all kinds of shits. Wow. Google Docs. Nah, Google he's smart Docs. for that one, though. Going through Google Docs to sex somebody. They both had the same log and info. I, mean, I don't even know what to wow. do at that point. Wow. Mugs had, the same, Mugs had a, a sexting Gmail. That's that, crazy. I'm saying, I was going to say, that's innovative. Um, Somebody says, coming back to the crib and the air was off and she was making the bed at 9 p.m. I ain't stupid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that nigga intuition nah, strong we, as hell. Now, think about it, though, making the bed at 9 p.m., it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Is it, though? Not, Not really. really. You make the bed at 9 p.m. just to get in in a couple hours later? Yeah. yeah. He's just getting home, though. You got to make it look pretty well, sometimes. he is, but she already been home. Exactly. The so bed should have already been made. Sisters. Exactly. Sometimes yeah. I take naps. That is true. Um, Another girl says, my girlfriend at the time asked me if I could take her to her cousin's house. And I did. She left her phone in she left her phone in my car at the time. She didn't know my fingerprint was on her phone. It had went off and I saw it say, I'm at the door with no clothes on. I threw it out the window and left. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn her cousin. Wow. Charge yes. the gang. Okay, another dude says she headed out to work and left that Apple Watch. It was a few years ago, but after losing 75 pounds, I'm starting to eat again finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a girl says he came home with Mexican food to go. Uh, he came home with Mexican food to go. Uh, the bag. Oh, wait. Damn, I'm sure he type it right. He came home with Mexican food to go. The bag had been delivered. The bag had del the delivery info stapled on it. And it wasn't his work address. All my spidey senses was tingling, so I went the next day to the address and seen him coming out of her apartment. I just, man, I just can't imagine seeing your girl come, seeing your girl come out of another dude's crib. It's just like, it's instant bad thoughts. That could be her cousin. That could be a friend. And her legs shaking. Oh Ooh. my God, Kelvin, walking with a limp. Ooh. Man. Holding her back. I'm saying, going down the stairs doing a stanky leg. <laughs> Just imagine it real quick. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm That's good. tough. I got Close my your eyes and off imagine right your girl Don't listen having to a walk of shame. Her legs giving out, her knees buckling. <laughs> <laughs> she got half a shoe on. And he kicked her out real disrespectful and she enjoyed it. Man. What are you honestly going to do about that? <laughs> well, what that was such an evil villain laugh that I've ever heard out of Kelvin. That shit, what the fuck was that scenario? <laughs> Have you done that before? <laughs> I don't know the way he's that laughing. That was very specific. I'm saying. The way he's laughing. There might be some hidden lore over there. That you was cooking, very man. specific. What's he cooking, bro? I'm just a good storyteller. I can respect that. Somebody said, I found out she had an OnlyFans and I subscribed. And saw all of her collab videos with different dudes. She even got a train ran on her by four dudes in one video. Man, he better he better join. Was it busting? I'm saying. She better have a lot of followers. What's the only fan? It sounds like it was busting. Sound like yeah, it sounds like it's busting. Cause if you get in a train ran on you on OnlyFans, you only got like thirty fans, that's kinda crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whole time that is really. Cool. I mean, maybe, why? maybe, maybe she's not she promoting it. Got some it benefactors, well. maybe. <laughs> Imagine a girl like charged ten dollars and she only got like ten fans and she's showing pussy and everything, man. But I've seen something be like three dollars for the whole thing. It's not busting. But some of them probably be having fans or something, though, bro. It's like, damn, yeah, it's that getting be tough for out like here, their man. bills and stuff like that. So you really probably really only need a couple. You just need that one good fan. You need like uh, maybe a hundred, hundred, hundred. It's like a hundred to a thousand. Count. I'm like that. Having 150 charge of ten dollars, good money. You just yeah. be like, I'm sad. Send me money, and they'll send her money. She she oh, says so she worked for OnlyFans, and she ain't even beating the fucking threshold every month. That shit crazy. 
That's tough. OnlyFans gets a cut out of everything they do, right? Yeah. I assume so. What is their percentage looking like? I think it's like 20. They got to be. They be having like 300.0001%. percent mm. Didn't they try to stop uh, having like I don't know nothing. Sex about creators OnlyFans. use their yeah. account and then they're oh, like, ah, yeah. oh, psych, never mind. Bro, they, they knew tried. they was gonna lose their money. Everybody was going to lose their Everybody minds. they they knew bro, come on man. You hear OnlyFans, bro. you instantly think of porn. If Twitter would have died, GG. For OnlyFans? Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. Yeah. It yeah. would have been a big GG. Yeah. Yeah, it I can been see a that. Big GG. Man. I think yeah. it would have slowed down. It would have slowed down. Nah, nah, I, I ain't gonna Twitter, lie. Twitter's where they generate their like the biggest support base. That's where they get all say. the promos. Yeah, still IG, think though. about it. Think about how many people be on TikTok and they be like, "What's the Twitter?" Yeah, they would say like Twitter question so, mark. Yeah. Like the only real backup for that is Reddit. And who's going to go on and Reddit? who's the fuck going to go on Reddit? Yeah, exactly, like, like who's going on Reddit? Mm. Or Instagram because you can't show anything on Instagram. Think about the Twitter. The Twitter is like the preview of what you got. Yep. Yeah. And without That's no true. preview, who's and buying? Sometimes the Twitter's enough. The Twitter's exactly. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes the, the Twitter's Twitter be busting. Because if it ain't busting out the seams, I'm not finna subscribe to the full thing. What exactly. I look like. True fact. Sure. I mean, I wasn't subscribing in the first oh, yeah, place. I was but must, yeah, for sure. I, was but say, no, I understand. Crazy. I understand. But at least I know that there's dudes that will subscribe and they'll put it on Reddit for free. Yeah, shout out to them dudes. Make it a business. Man, shout out to the dudes on Reddit that be, you know, that's really <laughs> bad because it's really illegal. But <laughs> I was about to say. They be doing trench work, that. man. No, but it, at the same time, it gives it them promo at the same time. So it does. It's it like does. a win loss situation. Because at the same time, even though they're putting it on Reddit, there's probably some dudes that are still getting interested and they want to see more. So they'll go subscribe yeah. themselves. Yeah, right. That's why so some of them don't even be caring like that. It's necessary exactly. promo. Because it's like all publicity in that in that basically in that stage, it's all good. publicity is good they, publicity. They go, Who is this? Yep. Go to the Twitter, follow. Yep. Just like that. Man. There should be some horny dudes on Twitter, man. Man, there's just some horny dudes in the world, period. Like, bro, it, Twitter Twitter got it bad, though. Like, you just go in the comment section, and I'll be like, there's no way this is a real person. It's just a real person. Just like, you be like, damn, baby, you're fine as hell. You look like someone's uncle. Yeah, like oh somebody's uncle. Like, like that dude that we be sending to the to the big chat. Which chat? That nigga shoot. He shoot his shot every oh, time. Yeah, he's a shooter. Every time. He's a shooter. Yeah, he's a shooter, bro. That nigga's God a shooter, bro. God bless bro, you. Bro, he's like 0 for 1,000. But he kept shooting, bless and we're not playing. Then the dude is literally like, like over a thousand. Right on the timeline, does not care. I gotta give it to him, man. He's different. He's different. He's built different. Thank you, thank you. I gotta no, give, it, give it, to him. it to him. No, I gotta give it to him. I, him shooting constantly, that's got my respect. Man. Cause me if I was three yeah. times, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, he, he, I'm done. I'm done. He's and he be doing it on the public TL. Yeah, he'd be like, hey baby, and no response, no like. Charges nothing. the game. Just move charges on. the game. Just move on. Man, I got too much self-respect for that. Me too. I'm saying. I feel like that's so degrading. It kind of is. I'm in a way. Uh, 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 I mean, he I mean, know he knows she's not good. He's never yeah, got. Yeah, but he's trying to put on for the human race. He's trying. The human he's, race. Yeah, he's trying to put like you know. He should set an example of what not to do. I don't know what he's cooking. I'm not gonna lie to you, but he's cooking hot garbage. <laughs> is what's cooking. He's but I admire it though. I do I admire, admire it. Yeah, I really admire. do admire it. Some admire. people probably need that, like you were saying. That's so. what I'm saying. He That's might be. He actually might be putting. He might on. be somebody's role model. Just keep, he keeps shooting. Cause one day, one day, I don't know what day, but he might strike gold. <sighs> Whole time, you know, you know what the 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 approach that a lot of people need to start having. Fuck it and do it. That, and on top of that, when ugly dudes, when they be confident and everything like that. They really get somewhere in life. Yeah. So what I say is if you if you don't have a lot of well, obviously the one thing you need is gonna be confidence, but And if you don't have that, fake it, fake it. Yeah, fake it till you make it. And then on top of that, I mean, you just keep shooting until you get a bad bitch. Literally. You just keep shooting until you get a bad bitch. At least if you shoot for only bad bitches. One of them most likely gonna say yes. <laughs> One's gonna give you a chance. One's, One's gonna give you a chance, chance, bro. If you ugly and you just know you ain't got shit going for yourself, just keep shooting just at only bad bitches. Want to give you a chance? Yeah, yeah. I would try to have something going for yourself. I mean, yeah, no, that's that's number like, one. Yeah, but you know, obvious. some of these niggas they ain't gonna listen. That's obvious. You always need something going going for yourself. Yeah, some of these dudes they're not gonna listen. They're they, like literally they they. You could tell these dudes don't steal. You think they gonna stop? It's gonna make okay. the hands stickier. 
<laughs> but no, nah, yeah. I respect him. I respect his game. I respect. The, I wasn't familiar with his game before, but now I am. So I was, I I was can familiar him. with it before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, dang. I'll be like. Because it's been going on for like girls. what three so years? For like three years, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's that. been shooting for a very, very long time. I wonder if he's hit anything though. How? I don't think he has. He, he went quiet for a little bit. I've he did go quiet for a little bit. He went quiet bit. for a little bit. <laughs> I've never seen a reply under any of them. I've never. I seen don't. A reply. I don't think I've ever seen him get I've a, reply. Seen a reply. Like literally. And some of them will be people like they would probably know him like in person. Yeah. And those are the worst ones. <laughs> I mean, but, but he's man. still shooting. He's still but shooting. But you got to think about it. I don't know if I'm shooting my shot when I know you in person. I'm not yeah. shooting that shit on that, Twitter. No, nah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, yeah. You got that one. I'll just wait till I see you. Yeah, you got that yeah, one. Yeah, true fact. Now you got to go, go through his Twitter and Bro, see that he, he, man. he'll do it to everybody. It's bad. Bro, you go to his Twitter, you like, damn, bro. Calm down. <laughs> I mean, uh. He'll be under the OnlyFans girl talking about, damn, I need you. Bro. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Got to keep shooting until you make it. The only I, way to get better. I wonder what's the pleasure. Like, uh, do y'all think dudes get pleasure out of of being in them replies? And, and do you think that, let's not even say pleasure. Do you think that they expect responses? No, they just want to no. show their support. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want to praise them. Okay, yeah. let's, say they, let's say they get a response. Do you think that they're actually getting somewhere with that woman? I mean, do, wait, do you, they think do you they think are? like say like if a dude subscribes to a girl's OnlyFans, do you think there are some delusional ass dudes out there that like if the girl types back, they think that they're getting somewhere with her? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hmm, hundred percent. Sometimes I just don't believe it to be true, but I'm just like, the huh. fucking facts are right there. Like some of these niggas be real life losers. I feel bad for them. Uh, it happens. Them cash cows. Getting yeah. milked. <laughs> I feel bad for him. <laughs> like the male mentality, man. These niggas need Andrew Tate for real. I'm saying, I need some help. Can't believe he's really back on. I Twitter. was just about to say the top G. He has returned. Him, Trump is back. Kanye's back. Everybody's back except your account. I know it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Way better hit up. Elon. Have you checked recently? No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, better hit up Elon. Hey, bro. Yet. You too big. My Twitter read a check recently. Man, at this point, man, it's like it's like fuck it, bro. Cause the only way you have to be banned as long as if you did some copyright. I don't know, bro. At this point, <sighs> I'm cooking what I'm cooking. Cooking what you cooking? I'm cooking what I'm cooking. Damn. Oh, Can't man. be in the past no more. You gotta, you gotta keep moving forward. You gotta keep moving forward. Hundred percent. They know me as X now. Baxter. Twitter's just spending me for like 24 hours. Wait, why? <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, yeah. Now, Kelvin was cooking. Yeah. Kelvin was cooking. But I was the victim the whole time. Yeah. They only, like they only saw my tweet. <laughs> Wait, what I, happened? I got uh, suspended for like 24 hours. For what? I was having a conversation with Ren and Sin, and they were like calling me a hoe or something like that. <laughs> For no particular reason. They call everyone a hoe. And I was like, you guys are whores. (laughs) (laughs) Damn! (laughs) And then they just uh, banned me for like 24 hours. Whores, bro? (laughs) That's so crazy. So shout out to Sin, because I'm going to talk about you for a second. It's so crazy that, like, you literally, you know how dudes, like, I can sit up there and say all day, that like I'm a virgin, but it's like you can't. You have, you have kids. <laughs> like we knew you did the nasty. You know that's so crazy. That we crazy. knew you did. That's crazy. They had to come from somewhere. Yeah, we know what you did in the past. Exactly. We're just like you were really getting down with the get down. Damn. We know what it took. <laughs> so like. Imagine your crush just ends up pregnant. Like, you just really know. Damn, you were really out here fucking. That wasn't my crush now. Damn. Damn! You were really out here fucking. Fucking raw. Fucking raw. Raw dogging? All fluids. <laughs> All fluids? And let them let go ahead and release inside you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Fluids is crazy. Release inside you for a good 10 to 20 seconds. Mm. Damn. Mm. And now you're stuck with this man for life. 
not only are you stuck with this man, but he 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 left a seed inside of you. Damn. And planted then left. Seed and left. <laughs> I'm saying that boy planted an apple tree. Not that that's funny at all. Yeah, not not that it's funny about the single mothers, but we're just saying though, like, damn. I mean, what y'all cooking? <laughs> damn. I mean, what y'all cooking? <laughs> Your crush really just got nutted in. I don't know what y'all cooking. <laughs> Imagine getting blasted in, bro. I don't want to <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> imagine getting blasted in. <laughs> I don't want to imagine that. What the hell? Yeah, bro. Now you know what I mean. I don't know about imagine that. I don't know like, what you mean. I mean, I mean, like, imagine your crush getting, like, blasted in. Yeah, that's not how you said it. No, nah, yeah. I just be like, when you just, when you hear, like, when you was in high school and shit like that, and your crush, you just heard, like, oh, they got a boyfriend. And it's like. I'll be damn. Move yeah. on. She getting her guts rearranged. I remember that. Yeah, I'll just be disappointed. I'll be like, yeah. Like, what I'll can you like, do? Damn. Just move on, man. For that bitch. That's how I be. Hey, chill, God. What's up? My bad. How would you feel? How well? How did you feel? Right when you know you told your the the whole virginity story and everything like that. Can you explain in words how you felt? Wait, what? When you t- when story. you said your crush showed up after she just got fucked, with the nut on her shirt. Yeah, how did you feel? Could you put, relay that into feelings? Uh, I wasn't hurt or nothing. Uh, you were already red pill back then. Nah, I, to be honest, looking back, it was more like a. I mean, it Charge was it to what, the game. It was what it was. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> You was a charger back to the game? That's what awoke in you? I didn't, I didn't have that philosophy back then, but it was more like a, I mean, it is what it is. Like, it, it happened, but at the same time, it's like, females, they choose, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't control what another person does. Man, fuck what that nigga talking about, bro. <laughs> that nigga ain't, he, he's sitting up there trying to act like he ain't never had no feelings in his motherfucking life. He's he's hey, he's you saw the evidence firsthand. Huh? He saw the evidence firsthand. I'm oh, saying. Man. Like, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So have y'all ever had, like, like any type of times where your crush, like, did something? I know I, I had. I, I Probably. But I, I, I probably though. left by then. I had my crush. I know I was, like. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't on no stalker shit or nothing like that. But I was like, kind. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, like when you in the same area and you kind of like, you kind of like, okay, I see who she's talking to. You know. So like, I seen her, and then I didn't. So my heart kind of like, boom, boom, skipped a little beat. I'm like, oh shit, Batman detective mode start activating. I, you know, start Y'all thinking was in a, a little place? bit. Huh? Y'all was in a public place. Yeah, we was in the gym. Oh. Uh. And there was a whole bunch of people. So. My motherfucking heart skipped the beat. I walk outside. I turn left. I turn right. And just like that, God's timing. I see her coming around the corner with another dude. Mm. Damn. Got bust down. No, when I tell you. Or Jim Bay. My heart. My heart just, it just, it dropped just a few centimeters. Because I was just like, what the hell just happened? What did they just do? And I'm just mm. like, Fuck. On the side of the building, bro. Charge to the game. I don't think people understand how scary that is. Charge to the game, bro. For me, she was on the exposed page, and I was like, "Damn, no, (laughs) there's no way, no." no I was like, "Not her, man." (laughs) You're like, "Yum." Be serious. (laughs) Get out of here, man. (laughs) (laughs) No, get him out of here, coach. Wait, what was she doing on there? Bro, you're not serious. She uh, she was gobble gobble. This news got leaked, and I was like, "Damn, there's no way." But oh man, I was like, <laughs> "That can't be her." <laughs> denial. I was in denial for real. <laughs> oh She's man, I didn't girl. think she had it in her, but ah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? No, but no, but when you say you didn't have it in her, that's where's that's where you went wrong. I didn't think she had it in her. Like they all that. have it and in them. They, they all do. She got exposed, and that's the whole thing. There was a whole exposed page at our school, and she was on there and front row. Damn, 
Man, uh, that dang. should open your eyes. Man, that definitely should open your eyes. They didn't. That definitely opened my eyes. It no, didn't. it didn't. For her, for her, it did. I was like, damn, she's a busser, man. <laughs> she <But>. a busser, man. <laughs> oh, tough, man. Bro. Oh, so this one, is we got to wrap this thing up then. <laughs> okay. I know I had I had one time. Oh, man, I was in such denial. I was, I was, except it wasn't as, well, I ain't going to lie. It might have been a little bit worse. And I froze? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I was, what's worse? Man, they said she was topping somebody off in the laundry room. In the laundry room. I was, I was in denial. I was in denial. No, nah, the act is worse than the, the pictures. Yeah, the act is worse than the pictures. Like, it and it was true. like, yeah, I was like, I was just like, it got to the point it was so bad. And I was so like, I was so sprung on this girl. I started to ask around. I was like, who was it? Who was it? And then I ended up asking the source and he said it didn't happen. But I was just like, that nigga ain't got to tell me the truth. Hell no, he probably like, man. I, yeah, I was like, that man ain't got to tell me the truth, she bro. She was gleaming on a semen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the ultimate confidence booster, though. When an, an, a dude come up to you to ask if it's real or not, but you could control it. you like, it happened. but I'll control I'm not the narrative. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you, though, but it happened, though, yeah. You feel me? Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's, that's fucked crazy. up. I control Damn. the narrative. But in a laundry room, bro. That's tough. Laundry room is crazy. She's probably washing clothes. <laughs> She got stuck in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn my mic that's off, bro. I'm gonna turn my mic off. That is so tough, bro. Oh my god. That's no. tough. Oh my god, bro. That's okay. tough. All right, we gotta start wrapping this thing up. Um, huh? Sorry, we have to go ahead and cut the camera real quick, but we gotta start wrapping this thing up, man. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy. I know this was a short little episode, but y'all gotta bear with us. These uh these last couple weeks been kind of hectic. We've been kind of rearranging everything. We've been trying to upgrade. It's only going to get more hectic. Yeah, it's, it's going to get a little bit more hectic, but, you know, the scheduling and hey, everything is... Hey, real quick. What? I look on the Twitter, bro, and August Alcina just came out and said he has a boyfriend. Bro, good for him. Good for him. <laughs> fuck, I don't give no fuck about that nigga, bro. Good that, for that him, break man. it, do, news. Break it, do, he, do what the fuck good he got to do. Bro. I don't good care. Good for him, bro. Um, but yeah, Jada y'all make sure. Sick. You- <laughs> 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 oh my! Bro, I'd be close, sick if I was Will Smith. Close it out, bro. Ahead, that mean the pussy pussy must Let's be trash. Pod, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Damn. Close it. Made him take it. Made, made oh. him do it. Made him do a double take. <laughs> Will Smith is in shambles. Nah, he's been taking L after L this year. Nah, that's oh funny. Guys, close it, bro. <laughs> Jeez, that's funny. All right, bro. Y'all leave a like on the video, man. What are they? Hey, what's the quarter today? What's the quarter today? What's the quarter today? Yeah. Uh, um, we gonna take it from uh, what's it called? The the trashed video from last one. We gonna say uh, we gonna say <laughs> yeah. What he say? What he say? He said uh, um. What's it called? In order to be a leader, you got to be a soldier first. So yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, say yeah. that. And another quote. Um. What's it called? What else did he say? He said, um, chase women that want you. That's a big one. Chase women that want chase you. Chase the person that wants you. Yes. Yeah. It can apply to um, everybody. Yeah, it applies to everybody. My bad. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a quarter of the day. You got what? Uh, wait. To comment down below, say hi. Say. Um, we miss you, Aaliyah. Yeah. 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 Comment down, we miss you, Aaliyah. Yeah. I know she can't read it, but we, she'll still <laughs> feel it in her heart. She'll still feel it in her heart. Yeah. She'll feel it. Um, so yeah, that's going ahead. We got your quota today. You got what to comment down below. Anybody else got anything else to say? Uh, no, not yet. No. Okay. Then, uh, y'all know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, can't reiterate it enough. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification on and go ahead. Tell your mama and your daddy that you love them and you'll tell your brother and your sister that you're really thankful for them and tell your mama and your other grandma that, uh, yeah, that they cool people. Um, I don't cool know what people. the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Interesting. All right, down bad on me, down bad on three, one, two, three. We, we all down, down bad. bad. Episode number 57 in the books, baby. Love you guys. But stuck in a dryer, bro? No. That's crazy. She got stuck in the dryer, so she had to give up that head. Down to ride, are you down to ride? Are you down to die? Are you down to fight?
down to ride? Are you down to die? Are you down to fight? Are you down to ride? Are you down? Are you down? Are you down?